WFAA-TV, the spirit of Texas. This is Good Morning Texas in high definition. Now time to get into the zone, school zone Dallas, that is. Gary? Uh, thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Amy. And thank you, Mr. Dickey. Have fun on the barbecue pit patio. The Emmy award-winning School Zone Dallas returns to Channel 8. It's tonight for another special episode. It's on the inner workings of DISD. And we're very excited this morning to welcome Gracie Saunders. She's a senior from the School for the Talented Gifted. It's at the Yvonne A. Ewell Townview Magnet Center. That's the longest school name I've ever seen in my life or said. And our good friend Isaac Villafana. Did I say that yes. right? Isaac oh, Villafana, oh. who's a senior from Skyline High School. They're here with a a preview of tonight's School Zones Out. Okay, Isaac, let's go you first. Yeah. Can I do it? Because okay. the story you're covering is about debate. It's the National Debate yeah. Championships. It's the Urban Championships yeah. for debate. Now, you've been covering, how long have you been covering this? Uh, this happened, I think, like last month. About last month? Yes. Okay, tell me about the story. And what would you find out about debate that you didn't know before you went well, in? Well, that is hard to come up with the whole topic because they give you the topic beforehand so you're ready, so you know what you're going to talk about. And mm -hmm. But making the whole uh, debate thing, like argument. Now here you are hard. covering, this is part of your story tonight. Do you, do you find that some people are really good at debate and some are not good at debate? Yeah, I think so. I think you just have to be a good talker to, to, to do this and really work hard on it. You know? Yeah, now, now I think there are two Dallas schools or two district schools yeah. that made the national championships, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. It's, are they pretty good? Yeah, they're good. If they, they went to, uh, they won and uh, go to Ch Chicago uh -huh. and uh, they did the National Urban Debate League Championship in Chicago and they were the ones who did the inner, the, the competition and won. Oh, good. It was uh, now, what WTY. Schools, what's the two schools? WTY and okay. uh, Carter High School. W.T. And, White and Carter. Yeah, and Sunset was an alternate, so that's good, too. Okay, Gracie, can you imagine doing debate, or have you ever done debate? Not really. No, because you're an actress. <laughs> yes, So you I would am. do it in Terp, in Oral and Terp, exactly. in Reader's Theater. That's I what I was I did those competing. in college, too. Okay, you're doing a story on School Zone tonight that you've been covering about sculpture. Yes, sir. But it's a different kind of thing where it, where it kind of starts with an idea and works its way all the way into actually building the sculptures, correct? Right, and actually at Skyline, it's more than one department. It's a 3D art department as well as a sculpture department and the transportation department mm -hmm. that all come together. And the teachers all form an idea and they tell all the students their idea and the students come together and work on that project through welding. Now, we're watching some of the welders now. When we talk about sculpture, it's a real hands-on deal. I mean, it's not like... It's not this little pen and paper. It's big, heavy glove, heavy stuff, right. correct? It is. You have to be very careful when you're doing it because whenever you weld all the sparks that are flying, you have to have special goggles. Otherwise, looking at the sparks will burn your eyes, which is very damaging. So you have to be very careful before you weld. You have to make sure you put on the right gloves, that you have mm -hmm. the right mask on. You have to be in the welding uniform. Do you have a new appreciation for these artists now? I really do, because I actually saw them making furniture and, you know, making chairs, and it was difficult, and I'm, I'm sure I couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, you do, when you appreciate that. Like, you appreciate debate now probably yeah, more than ever. Cool. You appreciate this. Have you been to the Nasher Sculpture Center? I don't I know. Have. That it's is beautiful. an extraordinary sculpture center. Yes. And just when you see, you know, the students that you covered making chairs, and you go see some of the... Giacoma and some of the stuff that you see at the Nasher. It's pretty amazing. I was upset they wouldn't let me take one of the chairs home. <laughs> I know. Okay. It's beautiful. All right, let's talk about school uh, down the road for you. What, what are you going to do after you graduate? Uh, for now, I'm stay here in UTA. Yeah. Are you? Go good. UTA, and then hopefully uh, move to a uh, school in What New do you want to do? What do you want to do, do when you grow up? I want to do <laughs> film. And, do you? Uh, yeah. I'm really interested in that. You want to make movies? Yeah. Okay, Actually, Gracie, I was in the, you're going to oh. USC, right? I am. I'm going to double major in acting, computer engineering. What a double major. I know. So one you can fall on if the other one doesn't right. work out. Acting is so competitive, so, yeah. and I really love physics and calculus and all that, so I figure but, computer engineering But you're in the right spot, Gracie. If you're going to study acting out at UCLA or USC, like you're going to go to USC. Well, that's a big football team out there, too. That's going to be yeah. really fun. But on Trojans. Well, good luck to both of you. And if you make a film, can I review it? Yeah. Is that a deal? Yeah. It's a deal. By the way, you can catch Gracie and Isaac. It's tonight on School Zone Dallas. It's produced by the Dallas Independent School District. It's a very good show, and it begins at 6.30 p.m. tonight right here on Channel 8.